Well, my name is Krillin. Um, everybody knows me at Cake Day. I was born in Nassau and I've been raised here all my life in Hopetown. So Melanie was born normal. She was a normal kid all her, pretty much all her life. Melanie is my cousin's daughter. She lived in Marsh Harbor with her mom and her uncle. And she was in grade eight one day and she fell out in school. They called the ambulance and everything and they actually didn't know what was wrong with her. They had to rush her to NASA. She was in a coma for about two months and finally she came out of the coma and she was paralyzed for life. She was about 15 going on 16 around that time and ever since she'd been in a wheelchair and after coming from like months and months of therapy she finally came back to Marsh Albert. She started attending ECC. Um, ECC for those of you guys who don't know is Every Child Counts. It's the only school in Abaco in the entire Bahamas actually that's dedicated to disabled kids and the teachers are there great. They have a lot of volunteers and stuff. I myself been there for four years. Now I'm not there but it's still home for me and it's they're still my family. Attending ECC, she was in the choir. She learned how to talk again. She didn't know who I was or who her family member was. The only person she knew was her mom, Darlene. And she was fun and stuff. Like I said, she was paralyzed. She was just learning how to do everything all over again. And she just became one with ECC and the staff and the students. And everybody loved her. Cause she had a she was a really good kid and a really nice, warm and welcome spirit and everybody just felt at home and welcome when they met Melanie but then um, she was on and off, she was sick a few times but on and on, in and out of the hospital, her mom pretty much spent her last. Melanie is pretty much all she had. She went to school that day, I remember she had choir practice and she said she was not feeling good. Her head was hurting and she was just not that happy, that happy Melanie everybody knew. She was a little down, you know. And um, she went home that afternoon, that night she got really sick. Her mom, around 3 o'clock in the morning or so, she passed away at the at the clinic in Marsh Harbor. The classmate in the choir, they put a, I guess they put a flower vase at her desk, so she's still there as one in the choir. She would have been graduating with the class that graduated yesterday. The class pretty much dedicated the whole graduation to Melanie. They sung a song and they liked candles. It's been a long day. Without you, my friend, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began, and I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. When I see you again. It was very, very emotional because, like, them walking down the aisle and graduating again, the, the, the diplomas, that's all Melanie wanted. She's like, I'm going to graduate, and she promised her mom for Christmas that she was going to walk again, and right before Christmas, she passed away, so it was very sad and very emotional, and it's supposed to be a happy moment because everybody graduated and came out of school, but... It was a little heartbreaking for us because Melanie would have been there walking down the aisle or in her wheelchair down the aisle. And everything was lovely and I was glad Melanie got to be a part of graduation yesterday. She wasn't there, like physically there, but we know her spirit was still there. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. Come a long way from where we began, and I'll tell you all.